One morning, Will was dreaming of a large bowl of snails and coming towards him, the biggest snail you ever saw, Will's tongue stuck to the roof of his mouth in fear. The snail came nearer and nearer with its mouth open until a cold sweat broke out on Will's brow. It stretched its horns around Will's neck and shouted, Well, well, eating snails, is it? Quack! I won't eat snails again, I promise. Quack! Eating snails? What's the matter, little Will? He knew that voice, the voice of Martha, his mother. Dreaming again, my boy? Quack! Oh, yes, ma'am. And he gave her a big kiss. She blushed. Oh, Toot, go on with you. Your breakfast is ready and your friends are waiting for you. <laughs> In a jiffy, Will was out of bed and changing his clothes and half flying, half running downstairs to the kitchen. Hey, little quack, eat your breakfast. Will swallowed his wasp porridge <coughs> and hurried out. Thanks, ma'am. Borida. Morning, Dad. You? What? <coughs> Shoot! Oh, oh rush, I must have done this. <coughs> Oh, you wait, you naughty little quack. When Will glanced back through the window and saw his father all covered with pepper, he decided it was time to disappear quickly. Hello, lads. Follow me to the woods. When they'd gone far enough, Dick Penmoyle said, Stop, stop, Will. I, I'm pepped. And Hugh Herrick said, Hi, Will. What was that strange noise from your house? Oh, that was Dad sneezing because I knocked the pepper pots all over him. Oh, gobble, gobble, Will, laughed Ivan. Pepper! <laughs> oh, Will. You'll get a hiding and go to bed without supper. Quack, do you think so, lads? Yes, of course, said Shani and winked at Ivan. Indubitably, gobble, 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 said Ivan. Wow! What's a terrible sound? Well, what sound? A sound like sneezing, gobble, gobble, coming nearer and nearer. Great sneeze, it's my dad. Hide me, quack! Hurry, let's jump on him, shouted Shawnee. And in a twinkling, they all leapt on Will and sat on him until he was out of sight. And then they all heard a real... Huh? <laughs> as Shani's tail tickled Will's nose. <laughs> when Will saw the others laughing, he realized that they tricked him again and he began to laugh too. But oh dear, the laughter didn't last long because when Will sneezed, he'd thrown Shani against a nest of bees who came out angrily and made a beeline for Will and the others. They all howled as they fled Help! down the path with the bees after them. <laughs> they went down into the yard and dived into Martha's wash tub full of soapy water. When Martha saw the commotion, she had to shut the door quickly, and all she and Kunfra could do was to look through the window. At last the bees grew tired and flew back to the woods, and then Martha and Humfra came out to the yard. But there was such a miserable look on the five boys that Humfra simply couldn't give Will a row. But they all had to stand under the pump and be washed clean. Then Martha gave them a dose of lamp oil, soot and black ink. And when Will went to bed that night, he swore that he'd look carefully next time before slamming the door. Go wow.